Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. I am Rajnikanth and today's video we're gonna see how we can install MongoDB Community Edition uh, in Docker and how we can run that MongoDB. Okay, and also we'll see how we can connect this MongoDB from our uh, the MongoDB client from our local machine, right? So uh, the MongoDB will run that MongoDB community addition will run inside the docker and from our machine we will connect to that particular MongoDB server okay so for that one if you'll see already I have opened a, uh, a link here that uh, install MongoDB uh, community with docker okay so here it says self explanatory uh, steps will be there and we will perform each step uh, one by one okay so procedure pull the mongodb docker image so for anything uh, if you want to run any uh, particular uh, software inside the docker like uh, mongodb or mysql or uh, any other other stuffs then first we need to pull that particular image and here if you'll see docker pull mongodb mongodb community server the latest version we are we need to pull okay so let me copy this one okay so here already I have opened my main PowerShell. So we can uh, do this Docker pull MongoDB uh, these things. But already uh, I have pulled this image because it will take some time. So to save time, already I have pulled this one. So if you'll see Docker images and it's already there MongoDB MongoDB community server latest. Okay and just see 8 hours ago just I have created and the size is 1.25 GB okay so the next step is we need to run right so if you'll see we need to run that one so let me copy this one and paste over here so what we are doing here docker run and the name is mongodb and here we are mapping the port okay so 270 27017 uh, to 27017 so the mongodb community version will run inside this docker with this port 271 port and it will map to outside so in our local host we can access to 27017 port okay so this port mapping we are mapping this port and here we are passing this uh, the image okay mongodb mongodb community server the latest so let's run this one and we'll see okay so yes it's done now if you if you want to see whether it's running or not how we can check so docker ps command will show that running containers container id and image and status so 11 seconds ago it, it was up okay so now our mongodb is running now what we can do we can connect this mongodb community server to our local host okay so for that one we need to download a client so you can download this client mongodb compass so uh, so this client means what it is a ui gui software that will connect to your mongodb server okay so like if you if you are aware about that mysql workbench uh, so it will connect to the to different uh, you know, db servers okay so the same way you can download mongodb uh, compass so based on your uh, platform like windows or mac anything you can download this one okay so i will give this link in my uh, video description section so it will be easy for you people so already i have downloaded this one as well to save time so if you will see here i have opened this mongodb compass okay so now what we can do we need to connect to our server okay that is running inside docker container so two things that application sorry that 
MongoDB community server is running inside Docker container, not in my laptop. It's running inside Docker container. So locally, if you want to find somewhere in my system, you cannot find. It will be present inside Docker container. I mean, anyway, the Docker uh, the Docker entire system is present inside my machine only. But it is, but that community, uh, the uh, sorry, but that MongoDB server is not present in my local machine if you cannot find here that is present inside uh, docker okay so now we can connect this one so let's add a new connection and uh, this is mongodb url and localhost 27017 this is the port already we have given sorry my bad my recording screen open so <laughs> uh, what i am doing yes so the port mapping we have done right so here 27017 that is done okay so name color it's asking something so let's let me give some color we'll give green okay all good name uh, docker mongo connection okay and let's save and connect okay so docker mongo connection is done uh, so this uh, community server do not have any uh, credentials for uh, admin so we are able to connect to that one okay so now if you want to add some collection we can add here for example create collection no open mongodb cell this is pretty awesome and i have some sample let me put these things into that particular where we'll go this one control v so we are uh, i am creating a, uh, a collection called products and inside that products we are adding multiple products like uh, if you'll see name laptop category uh, electronics price some um, something stock 50 stocks are available so like this i am adding multiple things okay now if you will execute this one let's see it's executed okay so now let's again uh, go to here and let me refresh this 